I'm Denise with Artist Her Paint Party. You have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just, so this is a pretty spring bunny and I think that nice, lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose and might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Well, hi, you guys. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart, and I am so excited to be with you tonight. We're going to have fun. I want to show you tonight how to paint wine glasses. This is something that is very popular around here. I do a lot of, well, I used to do a lot of in-person wine glass paintings with groups of people at different wineries or bachelorette parties or house parties. So it's a really fun and simple activity. You just need the right supplies. That's all it is. And maybe the right t-shirt, right? May contain wine. This is a really good t-shirt, especially if you're out with a group of girls going to the winery or something. Very, very fun. So uh, I do want to share with you some of my favorite supplies to do this project with. You guys might have heard me before talk about this. This is multi-surface paint. So this stuff, this one I use is full cart. Okay. Love this stuff. You could tell I've been in this bottle already. So um, I'm a little bit messy, but this is actually a very neat project. Normally if I'm doing a canvas, I have an apron up, but this one is really, really neat and simple. So um, the first thing I want to tell you guys before you paint on any different surface like plastic or glass or wood, well not wood, but like plastic, glass, metal, something like that, you want to wipe it down with rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. So that's going to remove all the oil from your fingertips and actually you guys might even be carrying some of these now, these little packets. So a lot of times I'll have the rubbing alcohol or these little packets. I just use a paper towel. But again, rubbing alcohol or white vinegar and you just wipe down your glass to get rid of all the oils from your fingers. Um, and then don't touch it too much, right? Because all it'll do is it the paint won't adhere as well. Okay. To, so if I was doing a paint party, I would have this all done ahead of time. And then I would just tell them if you guys have been, you know, touching your glass a lot, just wipe it down. And again, it's okay if you touch it a little bit, but you really want to get it clean so that that oil is off of there. Okay. So I love big glasses. So the bigger the glass, the easier it's going to be to paint. The smaller the glass, the more challenging it's going to be. So you have to have, when you work small, you have to have better fine motor skills, right? And I don't have those great fine motor skills. So um, I do want to share, oh, let me show you a few samples. The most popular, because it's easy, are the polka dots, okay? And what's really fun about the polka dots is you can do like a set of four glasses and they're all different color schemes, right? And then that way you know, oh, well, my mom loves blue, orange, and white. So this will be my mom's glass, right? You can even write mom on it. You can even do it with your mom. You can also paint the bottom of the glass. So the polka dots and you can use q-tips or you can use the eraser of a pencil super super easy and i want to show you so i have here jim with me behind the scenes and jim's going to work the pictures for me and he's going to show you guys some examples of wine glasses that you could do so van gogh you guys know i love van gogh starry night and sunflowers palm tree with a beautiful colored sunset in the bottom Look at those white trees and look, each glass is a different color. So it's like a set of four. Isn't that fun? I love that. I love that. So fun. Just imagine it full of wine or champagne. And there's a beach theme, right? So you have a seashell and a starfish and, um, oh my gosh, what do you call it? Sand dollar. And then a cool like snail shell. Love that. And look at the bottom. It's like sand and water and flowers. And you don't have to paint the petal, the stem like the green, but I think that looks really cool. So that is just to, and there's a watermelon for summer. I tried to pick some summer stuff. 
So that is to inspire you for the summer. You could even have all your friends over and do a wine glass paint party. Like on 